tell the tale. Twilight comes. Still drawing breath? I have a cure for that. This is no place for dwarves. I've earned my right to see this through. I told you it would work, and there you are, doubting me. Just the key. That, on the other hand, have a key. You want the rest? Come, claim it. You really shouldn't have come here. You come and claim it. From the fire! I am the fire!
So much for your grand plan, you fool. You sought to harness the power of the light. The power of my son! It would have turned you into the wrecker of worlds. But in this feeble state, his light will devour you whole! Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Assassin's Creed, Dawn of Ragnar. Smell that? The breath of liberty. My gift to you. Why the sour faces? Would you rather remain fugitives? Hurricane. So the whispers were true. You were here in Svatelfheim all alone. You have been busy, High One. Your vengeance floods the entire land like a raging river that has burst its banks. Why are you here? I too bring a gift. Dread rumors from Asgard. Rumors you would have heard had you not been so... preoccupied. What has Loki done now? Escaped the cell in which you left him to rot. Unbound Fenrir. Awoken Jormungandr, rallied hell, now raising an army like no other. Clearly, he has been busy too. Of course, Loki is not your only problem. Soon the gates of Muspelheimer will grind open, and its minions will emerge, demanding retribution for their fallen king. 
And let us not forget Sotungar in your name. Do you really think he will miss this chance to settle old scores? Your vengeance comes at a price, High One, and you and everything you hold dear are it. So there is to be a fight. I haven't lost one yet. You have heard of the Twilight Sword? Suter's Blade? Destined to cut the sky and signal Ragnarok. I stuffed it down his gullet. <laughs> As I came here, a great beam of light rose from that lone tower. Tore the sky asunder. Your doing, I assume? It is you who ignites Ragnarok. So it begins. By my own hand. Hurricane. A favor, please. Have I not already done you one? Not for me. For you. Go to that tower you spoke of. Within you will find an elven marble lying amid the ashes. Take it. Why? It offers a way to deliver the one you have lost, yet seek to save. But first it must be empty of those lost souls within. I already have a plan to rescue my love. There's always a better one. Now go. What is this trick? You don't care about her lost love. I care about Balder. If she can free him, even unintentionally, he may yet make it to the other side of Ragnarok. Ragnarok comes, yet I will abide, though not as I am, and not in this body. I will not forget this life. Not one breath. I will always remember when Odin, son of Bor, father of Thor, was me. Asgard has abandoned us. Well played, Loki. We shall have our fight. So So many starving dwarves produce so much shit. <laughs> <laughs>